Hello, hello. Just finished up another build back there. We got a brand new pressure washing trailer. This is going out to Kyle. I uh, just started his pressure washing business and needed something he could easily tow around with his truck and then store it in the garage when he's not using it. Very, very cool build. Let's take a look at this thing. I'll show you all the details. All right, here it is. Let's take a look. So starting at the front here, we have the eight gallon a minute. Honda GX690 gear drive unit. We've got a 24 DC marine grade battery, 11 gallon fuel tank that is expandable. So it's plugged right there. If you want to add a second machine, you can do that with this tank. Got the seven gallon soap tank. We got a custom mount system on there. Got three 100 gallon slim tanks. We tied these first two together so we can expand the buffer tank. So instead of 100 gallons, you have 200 gallons. And with doing it this way, these two tanks actually baffle the water. So it's not, you can reduce some of the slosh. The back tank there is going to be a bleach tank. Lots of room here on the back. You could put another machine, surface cleaner, toolbox, whatever you have in mind. Going over to the curb side, you got three 18 inch full frame aluminum reels. These are the ones that have the stainless steel manifolds. You got the cam rail here, 200 feet of soft wash hose, half inch. You got the Pro Mixer XL. Rinse valve there. And then on the back side, if I can show you. Got the seven gallon, 100 PSI soft wash pump. Over here, we got the garden fill. This goes in to the hose through the reel and then up into the tank. And then that goes into a Hudson float valve. So as the tank fills and it gets up to the top, that will automatically shut it off. You got all your plumbing that runs in here neatly. Going over here, 200 feet of fierce jet pressure washing hose. And this one here has a ball valve swivel. This is an add-on option, super nice swivels. Reduce the hand fatigue. That's about it. This would make a perfect trailer if you're just starting out washing, you're looking to expand your business Something like this can be easily pulled with the family truck and then garaged when you're not using it. That way it doesn't tie up a vehicle. Super compact, we really like these big text trailers. This one actually has a shorter tongue, which makes it easier to pull and reduces the overall length of the trailer. We've been using these big text trailers for quite a while. They're built stout, they're, they're tough. 3,500 pound axle on here. It's just a great all round trailer. Couple things I didn't show you as we walked around here. These do have stainless steel tank brackets. These are custom made for these tanks, stainless steel. And then if you can see down here, there's actually plates on each side that this bolts to, and then there's a whole bracket system. So instead of one bolt going down to the trailer, you actually have a mounting plate, which is going to be a little bit more stable than your typical mounting system. Speaking of mounts, the hose reels are all custom mounted, quarter inch stainless steel. We didn't use aluminum, didn't cut any corners there. This is all around just a great trailer. It's gonna get the job done. It's gonna be simple, easy to work off of, easy to maintenance. It's not overly complex. If I was just starting out, this would probably be exactly what I would run. So if you guys are interested in more details about this trailer, I'm gonna drop all my information down there below. Take a look at it, we can finance these. We now have three finance options. So if you have bad credit, good credit, perfect credit, I'm sure we can find something that will fit you. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Let me know if I can help and I'll see you in the next build video.